Hello, this video is going to show you how to go on Facebook Live from your desktop or laptop on your browser looking at Facebook.com. This is only available if you are using the Chrome browser, Google Chrome. You cannot do this via Firefox or Microsoft Edge. Have not yet tested Safari, but again, if you're using a PC, your only option is a Google Chrome browser. So if you use Google Chrome to sign into your Facebook page that you administer, this is for you. Let's hop in. So you are seeing my Business Unusual Facebook page. Uh, this is the only page right now of mine that has this update. I have another Facebook page that is older and actually also verified, and that page does not yet have that, this feature rolled out. So uh, the way you'll know um, if you've got this rollout is, are two ways. One is you could go right to your top uh, post where it's asking you to, to post an update, and you should see start a live video. That should be an option in addition to the other slew of options you have for a post type. You can start a live video. The other way you can check is to go into your settings. Now, if you are an admin role of some type on this page, you should see these options along the top. If you do not have administrator access on this page, you are not going to see the option to go to settings. I obviously am an admin on this page. I'm going to click settings. So as we get there, what you'll want to do is go click on the left side tab that says page roles. Now, typically your page roles have been to add admins, analysts, advertisers, editors, and so on, and also moderators. Now, with this rollout, you have an additional role you can add, which is a live contributor. What this means is that in addition to yourself as an admin, and I ha any admin on the page is going to have the ability to go live, but let's say that you'd like to add somebody who is not an admin on your page. You really don't want them to have any other access on your page other than going live to, from your page. You can add other people as a live contributor for your Facebook page, which basically means when they go live, they can actually go to your Facebook page and they will see the option to go live from the page. This can be great if you have outside or external influencers who support your brand uh, maybe you don't want them to have all the back access to your Facebook page, but they're just great on live video. Um, you can actually also provide this to uh, customers who love your products, uh, advocates, advertisers. If you want to give them the capability of going live from your page and they're trusted and you know what they're going to do, go for it. So again, you have this additional role to assign, which is live contributor. Again, an indicator that you have this capability for your page. You can type in someone's username or their email and add them as the live contributor. Well, let's hop back in and see how we actually go live. This is very easy. So you're, you're here on your front of your Facebook page and you decided you want to go live. You can either start typing in text to do that or um, I'm going to head click out and I'm going to click start live video. So I always recommend people do fill this in because you can still tag other people in pages. Um, which is great to get eyeballs on, on, on what you're doing. I can tag myself or someone else. And you just want to make sure you get all your tagging, checking in. If you have any reactions or anything you want to add in there, you can. Um, going live from a Facebook page from my laptop, not a mobile device or a third-party tool. Okay. So once you click next, a new browser window should open. This is going to be where you go live from. Now, I'm only able to show you a certain uh, component of this because uh, my recording device is currently using my camera. You're not actually going to see the preview because right now my camera is otherwise employed with this tutorial video. However, this is exactly how it'll look. Um, once you arrive at this window, uh, face or your your browser Chrome is going to ask your permission and have a little dialog box come up asking your permission to use your camera and microphone. You'll want to click allow. If you click block, you will not be able to go live on Facebook from your browser, and you'll have to go back into your Chrome browser settings to uh, re-allow the camera and microphone for this particular to, uh, to, for this particular utility. So click allow when it asks you. Won't, it won't ask you again, and you'll always be able to go live then from this, from this uh, point. So you're in your box, and it's going to ask you to use your camera and microphone. Once that happens, you'll see a preview of yourself on this big black window. Now, 
This is an advantage to going live from a mobile device. When you go, go live from your mobile phone, from the app of Facebook, um, you only have a square to put yourself in. Uh, this is going to give you a, a much wider screen or wider orientation um, landscape uh, for your uh, video that you're sharing. Far easier to do how-tos, maybe you're doing a side-by-side -side interview. It just gives you a ton more space for your people to see. Once you hit go live, uh, it's going to do a countdown of three, two, one, and then you're live. You'll see an indicator up here that you are live, and you will also see how many people are viewing, just like you would see on mobile. Comments made by people with, uh, as you're live are going to appear over here, and it's nice because the newest ones appear here, and then it scrolls up in order of, of when they arrive. And up at the top, it'll give you, it'll start fading out, which again indicates those are the older comments. The newer comments are down here. You will also have a field down here where you can enter responses to people's comments if you aren't responding to them live. Maybe you have a link to share or something like that. Once you're done with the video, you'll hit finish. It'll be another button down here, hit finish, and it'll ask you to post the video and you will post. And that really is how you go live from your Facebook page. Again, if you don't have this yet, it's rolling out. Today is January 13th, 2017. Again, I have this on one page and not another. I expect I'll get it on the other page. It is only available from a Chrome browser. You will not be able to use this as of today uh, on Microsoft Edge or Firefox. So if you're trying it from those other two browsers and aren't seeing it, there's a reason for that. Go try it on Chrome and you might have it, okay? So best of luck. Uh, again, remember that this, this really broadens you out as far as being able to go live for your business. It's a little more convenient. You have a wider screen. Um, and if you have not yet gone live uh, from a Facebook page, you get tons of analytics about your live videos that help you decide and strategize how to go live in the future. Uh, if you have any more questions about how to go live, please visit my, my website, really.social. Would love to help you uh, come up with ideas and ways that you can effectively use Facebook Live video for your business. And with that, best of luck. I look forward to seeing your videos from your Facebook page.